Here is 1961 Jefferson Nickel from our Nickel collection. Circulated, slightly tarnished example of the Philadelphia issue. Front side of the coin displays the features corresponding to the extremely fine grade. Strike is bold, circulation rub is minimal, and some faded remnants of the luster show up on selected areas. Also some unpleasant seaweed tones are exposed around the letterings which also impairs the overall eye appeal. Reverse side of the coin exhibits weak strike. On the surfaces around the Monticello building we notice some scattered tarnished stocks. The coin must have been improperly cleaned. Not only the steps of the porch are completely soft, but other parts in Monticello, including columns of the Jefferson's residence, is worn or weakly struck as well. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1961 P. Jefferson nickel is really common except in MS66 condition or higher. There are less than a few hundred examples graded in MS66 or higher. In MS67, it's very scarce, with less than a handful known, and none existing in any higher condition. With full steps, it's scarce in any grade. This is one of the most valuable Philadelphia issues so far. 1961 Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps. Phenomenal strike and condition rarity, a find for advanced Jefferson Nickel enthusiasts. This gorgeous upper end gem is essentially brilliant with intense satin white luster. Virtually blemish-free with an impressively sharp strike that sets this coin apart from the vast majority of circulation strike 1961 nickels produced. As a specialist in this modern series know all too well, the Philadelphia Mint paid little attention to the quality for the high mintage circulation strike Jefferson issues that it produced during the early to mid-1960s. The result for the 1961 represented here is that Full-step examples are rare even in the lowest mean state grades. This superb gem was sold for $10,800 at Stax Bowers auction. The 1961 Deep Jefferson Nickel is one of the toughest, if not the toughest coin in the series to find with the full-steps designation. The reverse for this date and the mint mark tends to be very weakly struck from worn dies, and as a result the reverse of the coin lacks the full-steps details. This is one of the most valuable 1961D Jefferson Nichols sold at auction so far, boldly lustrous with nearly proof-like flash in the fields, on both of verse and reverse. The steps are fully formed, but other details show some bluntness, but more detailed than typically seen. The surfaces are wonderfully lustrous, with brilliance rarely seen on this date. A true gem quality coin, the surfaces show no serious flaws of any kind, even with the use of a powerful glass. The eye appeal for the date is truly magnificent, for a date that usually comes lackluster, pancake flat and without any special characteristics that would make it a desired collectible. It was sold for $14,687.50 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, please like, share, comment and subscribe to help us reach more people.